Want to record some stuff? Yeah, let's record some stuff. <laughs> so uh, this is a set of demos about how to record things in Max, sound and video and images. Um, so we'll start with the basic sound recording. Um, so we've got our microphone, our easy ADC analog digital converter uh, turned on, and you can see that it's working. You don't need any of these things right here. I just wanted to put them in here to show them. Right, give a little uh, visual. You can see the sounds coming in. Always makes me feel better. Um, so step one, turn on the microphone. Step two, set the name for recording. You need to open a file. So there's an object here called SF Record. It's got an argument of two, which means it's going to record two channels of sound, stereo. So uh, when you hit the message open, send that open message to SF Record, it opens a new file to to begin recording into. It doesn't begin recording yet. To, to begin recording, you actually give it a toggle of one and a zero to start and stop recording. But first you have to open an empty file for it to record into. It's kind of like turning on the recorder before yeah. you start the recording. Yeah, you're super close to the Sorry, okay. got real yeah, loud. Yeah, so uh, you gotta turn on the recorder mm -hmm. before you uh, actually record. So let's open a file and we'll call it uh, test Oh, you have to tell it where to go. I'm going to just have it go to my desktop here. So I'll say test.aif. Uh, it's recording as an AIF file, which is uncompressed audio. Um, so here's the file, test.aif. It's on my desktop. It's open. Mike is sending data to SF Record. The file is open, but it's not recording. So it won't record until I say this, until I hit a one or a toggle. So now it's recording sound. As long as it's toggled on, it is recording. Yeah, so you hit zero and it stops. And then the file's written, and if we open this, so now and there's a the file. Now this is the, it's recording at the same quality that any other application on the computer might record at. It doesn't know what's going on. It's just, it's the same as the exact thing that if you were recording in Audacity or in Logic or in Ableton, it's all the same thing. You have the, you have the computer's analog to digital converter, is writing the data to a file. It doesn't matter which program does that. It's all the exact same quality. It's just the computer doing it. So. And the important thing to note too is that Max can receive AIF files, right? As a, like it hmm. Let's see, if you open a file, I think you have an option here. You can do AIF wave mm -hmm. AU audio file. I don't even know what that is. Raw data audio file. Okay, I've used AIF and wave. They're the same thing. They're, they're the Mac and the Windows version of uncompressed audio. Right. I don't really know what AU audio file or raw data audio file is. Or I, mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't right. use those unless you know what they are. Right. So. I guess what I'm alluding to is later on, if you wanted to uh, reference a sound clip, you can reference this file type. It doesn't necessarily have to be an MP3 oh, sure. or SF a WAV file. Yeah. It, SF Play will reference an AIF file. Correct. Which that's is right. what I'm just kind of trying to get to. That's right. So that's super basic sound recording. Uh, what else? Don't need any of this stuff to make it work. Uh, you just need open. Oh, uh, you can tell it exactly what you want to call the file and watch what happens in that case. Uh, when, if I say open my file dot AIFF, it's not going to pop open that dialog box. It's just going to open the file and name it what I've designated here. It also will save the file into the folder where the patch is, not on the desktop. Automatically. So, right, automatically. I chose desktop because I didn't want to navigate to this to this folder or whatever. Um, so if I do that, open my file that I have, I'm just going to hit that button and then hit record. And now it should be recording. It also shows you the elapsed time down here. This, this signal coming on SF record is not the actual audio file. It's a counter that just says how long the file uh, is. And we'll just continue yeah. to count yeah, as long as you keep counting. recording. And it counts in milliseconds. So it's, um, oh, actually it's counting, looks like milliseconds. Yeah, 20, so this we've been recording for 20 seconds. So, and then I hit stop and then over here, Oops, that oh. is what we're already in. Okay. Um, over here, where's the file? It's not there. That's oh, weird. we've just... Open. Oh, record. no. Stop recording. It's not there. We're liars. Interesting. Are we getting an error here? Uh, open. Start recording. Stop recording. So that file, there's a several of those files yeah, just where somewhere are on, on the computer. Oh, huh, interesting. Um, I wonder where I put them. Let's let's. What do we call it? My file. My. Yeah. Huh. Well, that doesn't. Okay, make this much is sense. really interesting because we tested this before we did it, and it worked. 
let's try just closing this and opening up again. So, uh, open my file. There, now it works. Oh, see. I don't know what the deal was sometimes. So now we start recording and yada, yada, yada. And we say stop. And the file should say my file.aif. And so now we start recording. And it's fine. Um, I don't know why it didn't work there a second ago. Probably something to do with the screen recording thing needed to get opened up again. Um, all right. How long was that? Five minutes. Cool.